In this video, I'm going to answer a question I got online from Ray Marino Jr. about how to transition back uh, to normal macros after you've been on a low-carb diet. Ray's question is specifically for a keto diet, but basically that's a very low-carb diet. With a keto, you're down to about 0.25 grams per pound of body weight. You're truly not down to zero grams of carbs, even on keto, because you get small amounts of carbs here and there in your diet. It's almost impossible to get lower uh, than about uh, 30 to 50 grams of carbs per day. For Ray and anyone uh, who's transitioning back uh, into uh, normal macros, uh, if you will, or want to increase your carb intake, uh, the answer lies in my Dieting 101 article. My Dieting 101 article not only teaches you how to build uh, your own diet based on your uh, current body weight and your current diet and your goals, but it also shows you how to transition back into higher carbs. Now, as I said, with a keto diet, you're somewhere around 0.25 grams of carbs. So, to spell it out for everyone, you head to my Dieting 101 and uh, let's see, it should be phase five of the program where you're at 0.25 grams of carbs uh, per pound of body weight. And so what you do is you start adding about 0.25 grams of carbs per pound of body weight back very slowly to your diet. So that means going from about 0.25 grams, you're gonna bump up to about 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. So a 200 pound person would go from 50 grams of carbs per day to 100 grams of carbs per day. It's a bump of about 50 grams of carbs per day. Now just like you can't jump right back into a normal, you know, carb intake going from uh, low carb like a 0.25 or 0.5 to 2 grams per day without gaining massive amounts of body weight. Uh, you don't want to transition back to higher carbs too quickly either. You gotta go at your own pace. I can't really tell you what that is. You have to uh, decide what that is based on how your body responds to the carbs. But basically you're gonna slowly add those carbs back at about 0.25 grams per pound of body weight. Slowly and as your body responds well, meaning those extra carbs aren't uh, adding body fat uh, to your body, then is when it's the next time to increase again by about 0.25 grams. Now, you may have to stay several weeks uh, at those levels, possibly even several months, whatever it takes for your body to adjust. Give your body time. Remember, the last thing you really want to do is add body fat when you're adding uh, muscle mass. So don't think of mass gaining anymore as, uh, you know, this urgent need to pile on as much body weight as possible. What the research now shows is that staying leaner may actually help promote muscle gains better than bulking up and gaining body fat while you're gaining muscle mass. Leaner individuals have higher muscle protein synthesis rates from the same amount of protein as fatter individuals. So use my free Dieting 101 article at gymsupplementscience.com to help you transition back into normal macros or to build the perfect diet for you. It's all free, guys. gymsupplementscience.com. Keep the questions coming. I'll make sure you're getting the right answers. And as always, stay gym army smart.